We're looking at the North Wash Pavilion at Southwest Arkansas's famous Crater of Diamond State Park. And here, this is the South Wash Pavilion. They have troughs full of water where people can wash the gravel that they dig up out on the field and then bring under the shaded pavilion and wash for diamonds there. Uh, I'm going to swing around. I just told you that to kind of give you a perspective of where we're at. But this area over here is Canary Hill. In fact, if I zoomed in, you could probably read the sign that says uh, Canary Hill on that blue and white sign. There's a, a shade pavilion there where some people are sitting. But today, you don't really need the shade so much. It is overcast and cool and absolutely beautiful. And uh, this is May 26th, 2022. Uh, if you've seen my other videos about amethyst, Canary Hill is a great place to find amethyst. The reason it's called Canary Hill, in May of 1917, a 17.86 carat yellow diamond was found here. The yellow diamonds are called Canary Yellow, and that's why it's called Canary Hill. That diamond is now in the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. Um, if you watch my other videos about finding amethyst, it's in veins between this hard, indurated sandstone. Um, uh, these big chunks of rock are a sandstone. That is not diamond bearing, but it, the volcano broke up a layer, and so there's hard sandstone scattered all across that area. And when there is a crack or a void or a vug between the sandstone waters can wash in uh, hot waters years ago um, and they brought minerals with them silica and created quartz crystal well some of the minerals minerals that washed in was manganese and that makes the quartz crystal instead of white it's purple and purple quote quartz is known as amethyst and you can find amethyst here and it's the only place in the state of Arkansas you can find purple quartz or amethyst is at the Crater of Diamond State Park. Everywhere else, I mean Mount Ida north of here, an hour's drive north, is known for quartz crystals. Quartz crystal capital of the world they call themselves but no purple quartz. The only purple quartz is here. Um, one of the indurated sandstone pieces that was out there yesterday was hauled all the way up here and placed near this big old tree and you might want to come by and look at it so um the mcveighs were showing me this i think michael mcveigh was involved in moving it but kim mcveigh was like oh don't leave that out in the field and got her kim got michael to bring it over here because it's got some nice quartz along this side and if this vug or crack had been bigger uh, amethyst could have grown in that vug see it's just a line and then here is where this broke off so it's just a seam in this and i think there's some on this other side too it is a heavy heavy rock uh, this is some of the quartz along there and see how there'll be a crack in this sandstone and crystal can grow in there when the hot waters leach in there and over time will form quartz crystals so anyway check your sandstone out here and you can follow seams and maybe maybe find some amethyst where the seam gets wider then the amethyst would grow bigger